So how's it going, Bev? Badly. I'm within touching distance of finishing the job. Yeah. I mean, all I had to do was close the window and the job was done. Yeah. And then this. <sighs> Well, it's yet another storm in Bangor, possibly the same one that's been running since about the 1st of December. Um, as usual, it doesn't look too bad on camera, but it feels pretty bad. <laughs> but otherwise, all looks calm, I'm glad to say. But you can tell it's a bad day because the harbour's full of fishing boats. Ah, <laughs> oh dear. Yet another windy day from Bangor Vlog. <laughs> so uh, I'm just going to check all the lines and things. Everything looks generally all right, so I'm pleased with that. It's a very, very high tide today. And as you can see, the colouring pencils, as we call them, are right up to the top of the pillars. And Gaynor is taking this opportunity to pleasure herself in the starboard locker, her second home. Okay, Beverly, so what are we doing? Well, we've got a new window to replace our crazed window. Which I have to say is well crazed. And although you can't see it, there's actually a part number here between these two, just about here. If you run your finger along, you'll feel it, but you won't see it. And because of the crazing, you can't read it. So it's the old um, tree rubbing trick or gravestone rubbing trick or brass rubbing trick where you get the pencil and you rub and you just might be able to see there's something coming through on this. I think I'm in the wrong place because I have a suspicion that says Lumar. Yes it does. So the numbers must be slightly lower down. Let's try again. As I say, when you've got crazed windows like we have, it's um, very difficult to do see. Yeah, and even this is very difficult to see, but you just might be able to make out. Oh, just. 0816. Yeah. And then 2, I think that's G0B. I don't think the camera's going to pick that up, but um, you can see it with the eye. Yeah. And... Um, once you've got your part number, you can actually start going round and finding your source. Yeah, I'm just going to get a bright light. Yeah, you can see uh, a couple of the letters there. Yeah, there is the 0816. Yeah. 2, I think that's a 3. That looks like a G. I'm not too sure what that. That looks like a two on the last digit. But basically, um, that's where it is, and that's where you get the part number. So I sent that off to Bavaria, and they've sent me this, and they tell me it's exactly compatible, even though I notice it has a totally different number engraved on it. Right. So. But that location in white is uh, where the. Um... Yes, that that's where it should be. Yeah. And maybe they've changed their part numbers over time or something, but it does say 0816 just here. Mm. So I presume they've changed their stock number or something like that. I'm not too sure what the second but digit is, but this is 0816. And if I put it up against here, it looks like a good match. It certainly does. And these seem to be in pretty much the same places. And lengthwise... It looks good to me. It looks pretty good. Thickness wise, I don't know, I haven't measured that, but I have a wonder device and I'll measure the thickness of this. And this one, evidently it's got some acetate on it, but I don't think that's going to make any difference. Not for the distances you're talking about. This is 14.25 mil.
The snine mill. Oh, so it's thicker. It's much thicker. Whether or not that'll make a difference, I don't know. But this is much thicker, or was. I'll just check it again. I obviously did it wrong the first time. This is nine mil too. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Step one, learn how to use a vernier. I can use the vernier. <laughs> I was just stuck at the wrong place or something. Yeah. But, um, so we've got the, um, as far as we can tell, exactly what we should do. So now Beverly is removing the... Um, the screws. The little screws, which are a little Allen. The little Allen key things, and I'm using a 3mm Allen key on it. So, so it's 3mm. Obviously, it'll vary from window to window and things yeah. like that. If you have a different model of window for your boat, then it won't fit. Uh, yeah. This key. But um, having a full set of Allen keys on your boat... Um, we don't quite have a full set. I sacrificed a few Imperial ones. Yeah. But anyway, having a full set of uh, Allen keys on your boat is good. And we've got, this is metric and these are imperial, imperial. because... Uh, and I'm sorry if you um, are an American viewer, but the imperial system is just nuts. I mean, I don't know if a 783rd is bigger than a 516th or it's half the size of a 3 8 But I know that a 4 mil is half the size of an 8 mil and that's just mental arithmetic. Metric all the way, please. Right, this is my wonder tool, bodged together. It's a Allen bit in a drill extension with some sort of flexible universal joint thingy which fits into some sort of screwdriver handle and it's from about two different tool kits, all bodged together, but it works. <laughs> it's just a bit nervous. <laughs> so I've got the window out. Yeah, the window is out. And we've got a few loose. Oh gosh, that's very wobbly, isn't it, Bev? Yeah. And the other one over here is not quite as bad, but it's also. Yeah. The one at the end seems to be fine. It's fine. Yeah. It's solid. So this is going to be a bit of a tight fit. Uh, it's a bit filthy in there as well, so I'm going to take the opportunity to clean it all out. Yeah. Uh, so does this actually fit? Um, it seems to. You've got to bear in mind I've got wobbly stuff here, but that's just about slides on, as you can see. Yeah. It's going to be a tight fit, but it will eventually go bed in yeah we've just gotta we just gotta get it sorted yeah we have um so um first things first but everything looks to be whoops everything looks to be very similar yeah first thing first is to get the nuts out of the old one yeah so we've only bought the one to start but we're hoping to get right. rid of all our crazed windows aren't we bev we are the thing about them is they're very expensive. They're not cheap. <laughs> How much are they? But you don't get too much change out of 200 quid. Right. Yeah, uh, 170, something like that. Um, so what we're going to do is we bought one to see if it fits. If it fits, we're definitely going to replace four here in the main cabin. So that's another three to buy. And we're going to take our best ones uh, and put them into this cabin and that cabin and exchange because these ones are quite bad. So we'll see if that works. If not, we're going to wind up buying six. So. Mm. Yeah, but as I say, we've always tried with one to start, just so that um, you're not spending all your money yeah. without knowing it works. Yeah. We've run into a problem. This doesn't close. And the reason it doesn't close is because it is slightly thicker than the other one. The Perspex is the right thickness, but it's the fitting on the hinge is too wide. So I'm going to have to contact Bavaria and see what we can do about this, because this is the wrong one. Yeah, this is one of the reasons that we only bought one, wasn't it, Beverly? Because absolutely, if you have these little issues, you've got only one to deal with. But there's a, a little clearance, and what did you measure uh, it as? It's 1.3 mils in the old window, and it's 2.5 on this one. Right. And that difference is enough. Yeah. Yay! Well, Beverly has uh, returned to her favourite window, not, because in the post, this tiny little envelope has arrived, and I'm going to be opening it in a second. So this is the tiny, tiny envelope. Let's see what we've got inside. 
à ô uh. quality plastic quality plastic that we have waited a week for but uh, this is apparently called a shim kit and we're hoping that this will be enough the side of the camera going on it certainly is oh. coffee <laughs> anybody would think that we like our coffee on this boat fair coffee to windows <laughs> that's fair enough so how's it going Bev? Badly. So tell us what's wrong love. We can get the bottom hinges to sit further forward because they just come out. They're not a problem but the top ones have a catch on them and they, they won't actually come out. They're actually embedded in the frame so to get them out I've got to remove the entire frame and even then there's no guarantee these will fit because if you look at the bottom, if you look at the bottom latches. Okay. You can see here there's a little edge. Yes, I can see that little edge. When I when I put the little edge in, let's turn the light on so you can see, it catches on this little edge. Mm. And the upshot is that once it's in place, this doesn't move very much. You can see it, it, it doesn't fall out. It's quite happy. It's yeah. Fairly happy in there unless I, I give it a good I suspect these are very similar. But they're a tighter fit than the ones down below because the ones down below I can I can shimmy them around and get them out. But this lot here I don't seem to be able to do anything with them. They just no matter what I do, they don't right. come out. And even if I could get them out, I can't this one here I managed to put one of the shims in behind by just leaning it forward a bit. Yeah. But these ones here I can't get a shim in behind. They're, they just don't come forward enough to give so me the space to put a shim behind. Right, okay. So I can't get shims in behind them. Okay, dokie. Okay, it hasn't worked out. It's gone rather badly. Um, this is going back to Clipper Marine. They have spoken to Lumar and apparently it seems that these windows for Bavaria's were a special design job. They're neither type 1 nor type 2. They're like type 1 a bit. And there's nothing can be done about it. So it's a complete port light replacement. You've got to buy everything, the outer, the outer frames, the lot. Um, and that's a bit of a shame because that makes it a huge job because you have to take all the frames off the boat. You might have to cut the fiberglass. God only knows. I just don't want to go there. So I'm going to investigate getting a piece of acrylic, clear acrylic, cut to this size um, with special bits up around here where these hinges go that would screw in directly into the port lights. Um, it means that these would never open again but they would at least be new, they would be sealed and they'd probably be easier to change in the future if you could get them cut again. Um, that's something I'm going to look into, see what the price is um, for just getting a piece of acrylic cut to the exact size and shape I want. It's not very satisfactory. Maybe I'll come up with a better solution. I don't know. If you know of a better solution, in the comments down below because I'm beat. <laughs>